Just in time is right, Hugh. Luckily, the people here at the water treatment plant in New Baltimore caught the problem before it ever even had a chance to reach the city's water supply. But city officials say this could have, the, or this had the potential rather, to be catastrophic. The water for 14,000 people of New Baltimore is treated right here at this plant. Chemicals like fluoride added to the water to promote good teeth health. But on July 11th, there are some mistakes that are not allowed to happen, and this was not a mistake they're allowed to make. For years, the Detroit company PVS Chemicals supplied New Baltimore and other cities with blue 55-gallon drums of chemicals to mix into the water. At the treatment plant, the fluoride is mixed into a day tank before being fed into the water supply. That was supposed to happen that Sunday in July. Um, as soon as he hit that pump on to transfer that chemical into the day tank, there was a, a pretty substantial reaction, created some heat and um, uh, some, some uh, like a mist real quick. And he, so he shut everything down, got out of the room. Water Superintendent Chris Hilton and says four 55 gallon drums labeled fluoride actually contained 93% sulfuric acid. It was the most, it was the most aggressive thing that I've, I've seen. You know, chemical wise. According to the CDC, sulfuric acid is a corrosive substance which destroys your skin, lungs, and teeth and can be deadly at that concentration. We had isolated all the, the valves and shut the tank off, and the room was isolated. So at that point, I contacted Eagle. Eagle is Michigan's department which oversees chemical companies like PVS. Eagle released a statement, quote, to notify water systems that feed treatment chemicals that they are no longer authorized under Michigan's Safe Drinking Water Act to order and add chemicals from PVS Knollwood Chemicals Incorporated. Therefore, please make arrangements to secure chemicals from alternative suppliers. The company, PVS Chemicals, issued a statement of their own, which reads in part, PVS was never stripped of our certification and at no time has it ever been or is it now illegal or improper to use our chemicals in any water application. All statements to the contrary are false, end quote. As for PVS's take on what happened in New Baltimore, the statement says, fortunately, as the New Baltimore operator began to add the contents of the first drum, he realized there was a problem and stopped. The water supply was never contaminated and the incident was managed and cleaned up without further incident. PVS accounted for all the drums involved in the incident and PVS is certain there are no other mislabeled drums at our site or any other customer site." End quote. But the potential ramifications of what could have gone wrong aren't lost on some. That could have been a fatal catastrophe. It really could have. Very, very scary thought. We have kids all around, as you see. No, oh, that's horrifying. I mean, absolutely. I mean, people could have been really seriously injured. PVS, as you heard there, says this is an isolated incident. The state says they have no other ev evidence to the contrary, meaning they don't think anyone else at this time has been affected with mislabeled barrels. Reporting live in New Baltimore tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Dave, there are so many questions, including how those barrels were mislabeled in the first place. So what happens next in the investigation? Yeah, the state is looking into internal reports from PVS. They're not giving a timetable as to when they take, plan to take any action, anything further. As for how they may have been mislabeled, PVS in their statement mentioned something about understaffing due to COVID. Much more to come on this story. Dave, thank you.